something like that. I'm paraphrasing. But, um, you know, like, how are we going to know what those moments are? When those moments come, what it means to stand our holy ground. And we have to know the voice of the Father. We have to know who Jesus is in order to know where he is asking us to stand and what ground is holy. And so that starts with a daily prayer life. And I'm sure you've been told this information up until this point. And if you haven't, I'm telling you now, the most important thing that you can do in your life is to pray. I mean, it's it's to know and love Jesus Christ, but that starts with prayer. Um, and so in joining Stella, like, you know, I think a lot of people said in my time through Stella, like, Stella's the got the blueprint to heaven. And, you know, I, I understand um, the mindset because in Stella we're talking about you know, a devotion to Jesus and Mary and all those things. But, but at the end of the day, that is it. Like to have a relationship with Jesus and like a devotion to Mary, like that gets us to heaven. And so start there because if you don't hold yourself accountable, other people can't. And I know, you know, sometimes we're weak and we do need people to hold us up, but we also have to hold ourselves to a standard. And so start a daily prayer life if you don't have one yet, because you cannot know what your holy ground is until you know who the one who is holy. Um, and so, prayer. If you don't hear anything else from today, like, to be a woman, like, you have to know Jesus. And, I mean, you're already biologically a woman. But, like, right, to, like, help purify our femininity um, comes through a relationship with Jesus Christ. And that starts with prayer. First thing. Second thing. Um, oh, man, I just had it. I mean, oh, okay, got it. It's back. Um, <laughs> second thing is that ask the Lord that you might see yourself the way that he sees you. Because I also think that just, um, I mean, then again, this is all people, but I think specifically for women, like our self-image is really attacked. You know, um, I don't know how you guys feel, but on a daily basis, I am looking in the mirror and struggling with, being looking this way or being too that or not enough of this or you know I shouldn't have said that and that's again human nature right to to second guess ourselves to be insecure but um again it, I think to have the courage to not boast up or to not shrink away we have to I mean we have to at least be seeking um, to see ourselves as the Lord sees us so that we can know in those moments that we don't have to overcompensate or run away when things are difficult, that the Lord will stand for us and he loves us and that we are enough. And so I think um, I would be remiss in talking about Ladies Week if I didn't also say, pray that you would see yourself as the Lord sees you because I think oftentimes in our fem our femininity is attacked Um and especially in the way that we see ourselves, sometimes we can be the person who tears ourselves down the most. Have you guys, um, I know you can't respond right now, but there's this song by Demi Lovato that just came out. I don't think it just came out, but it's called like, I love me or something like that. But it kind of talks about this. I'm not really endorsing it because it's, um, you know, explicit, but like, it's just got some bad words in it. Anyway, um, it's off topic, but Right, like this idea that, um, A, to cultivate a prayer life, and B, in that prayer life to ask the Lord to reveal to you who you are as a woman, like in your femininity, like to reveal to you your heart and that you might see yourself as he sees you. That's the second thing. Third thing, to be able to stand your holy ground. We also have to be cultivating purity of mind and purity of heart. You've probably already talked about divine purity. It's one of my favorite virtues. Um... It's the Marian virtue that I just, like, I have just always loved. And I feel like um, in order to, sorry, I'm losing my train of thought. Um, in order to cultivate femininity, in order to ask Mary's, or I mean, we can always ask Mary's intercession, but in order to, like, deepen that relationship and to keep walking in our growth as women. Um, we also need to be like mindful of what we take in. And so like, what kind of things are we watching? What kind of music are we listening to? I love 
Like, I have so many, like, hype playlists. I'm not saying you only, I mean, you guys are old enough to know this, like, it, you know, it's not like getting rid of all secular music, but I'm just saying, like, just be mindful of what you bring into your body because the world has, I mean, just undertones against, I think, can be people in general, but specifically women, um, how songs, shows, everything portrays women, and um, those things can affect how we see ourselves subconsciously, and so I'd say just be mindful of that, and if you don't know um, how to start, ask the Lord to show you, like ask him to reveal to you maybe what things you're bringing in that could cause you to question your own femininity or your own role as a woman. Um, yeah, and then I guess the last thing that I kind of want to talk about is, like, I would, again, be remiss if I did not say in Ladies Week that you just need to talk to Mary. Like, ask for her intercession. Ask her to replace your own heart with hers. Ask her to show you, like, what it was about her life, like, how she acted in certain moments that, I mean, that revealed to us the perfection of femininity ask for the intercession of Mary Magdalene as I was praying about this talk I she just kept coming up in my heart too because I just always think about um not always but I do I just love 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 the story of St. Mary Magdalene where she goes to the empty tomb with the other women to anoint Jesus's body and it's not there so they go tell the apostles you know they come back Jesus is gone and then they all leave but St. Mary Magdalene she stays you know, like, she stood her holy ground. She did not run away. Um, she stays, and she is the first person to experience the resurrection. I just think she is such a beautiful example of just what it means to be a woman. Like, she stayed. Um, so, I don't know. I guess at the end of this, for me, personally, when I look at Ladies Week and what does it mean to be a woman, I'm just really struck by the fact that as human beings, we are called to be holy. We're all called to a relationship with Jesus. But as women in particular, I think sometimes the Lord, um, and especially just as I've been praying through this, like I kind of think he is asking us to, I think that he is asking us to seek him, um, to reveal to us what it means to be a woman, one, or to re-reveal it to us. Maybe that's something you feel like you've already found. Uh, but I think that, well, I know that he always has more in store for us, A. But B, I think that he wants to teach us to stand our holy ground. And this is something that I have been learning as I've been praying with this, like what it means to stand and to be still and to stay. Like Mary at the foot of the cross, Mary Magdalene at the empty tomb. Um, so I don't know. Yeah, those are just some of my thoughts about Ladies Week. Um, I know there was like... I feel like this is, like, the portion of, like, Q&A, but, um, it looks like it's not going to happen. So, um, no, my prayers for you, and I am just so grateful to be a part of this household, and this is just such a special time to really cultivate a deeper relationship with the Lord, because you're literally forced to do all of these reflections on your identity, and so, um, yeah, I hope that the Lord uses this for something in your prayer. And let's pray before we go. So, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, we thank you for this time together. I pray for every single woman that watches this. We pray for all of Stella Marie, past, present, and future, and especially for the current Twinkle class, Lord, that you would use this time of separation from each other to cultivate a deeper relationship with you. We know that you use everything for your good. So we pray that you would continue to reveal to us the good, the beautiful, and the beloved within ourselves. Mother Mary, we just especially ask for your intercession at this time. And we just pray that you would replace our own hearts with yours that we might become more like you, that you might um, just continue to pray for us as we journey towards heaven together. As we pray, remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thine intercession was left unaided, 
Inspired by this confidence, we fly into thee, O virgin of virgins, our mother. To thee do we come, before thee we stand, simple and sorrowful. O mother of the word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer us. Amen. Saint Mary Magdalene, pray for us. Our Lady, star of the sea, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I love all of you, even if I haven't met you. And if you have any questions, you can text me. If you don't have my phone number, you can ask Caitlin or probably a lot of those girls. Um, yeah, and know my prayers for you. So good luck out there.